want to talk a little bit about um, some of the nuggets from last night's mastermind. Um, we talked a, a bunch about um, reverse engineering um, product launches. So I'm not really going to get into that here, but um, we were talking a lot more about um, mindset, kind of what we were talking about before with uh, positioning and, and you know how successful people become successful. And the there was a mention of three feet from gold. And I'm sure if you've been a marketer online, you've heard that a lot of times people don't realize how close they are to being successful and they're three, you're three feet from gold, but then you quit. And you just don't realize how close to success you you were. And Chris talked a little bit about that um, on the mastermind last night because there was someone in the group that he wanted to hire. Uh, they didn't know it, but he was kind of watching them from the from the you know the background, just kind of like seeing what they're doing. And they were pretty consistent. They were showing up all the time. They were positive, but then of late they just weren't as positive and they weren't as consistent with it. So he just decided not to utilize them. And it's just a great example of just being consistent in your actions. You know, keeping that positive mindset and that positive energy. Um, and you just never know who's watching and what kind of opportunity might present itself from. That. And the cool thing is too is uh, I do some reading in the morning and one of the books that I'm reading actually two of the books I'm going to talk about right now I've, I'm just feel like there's a lot of synchronicity um, happening in my life if that's the right word to say to where um, I'll either watch a mastermind or be on a live mastermind with Chris and the team um, and then I'll read something in a book and it'll just be the same thing in a completely different book or vice versa I'll read something that morning or that week um, in the book and then Chris will talk about it on the webinar and it's just kind of weird how that has, has been happening and one of the books that I was reading recently is the master key to riches right here and in, in the master key to riches it talks about going the extra mile and that's kind of the same concept of three feet from gold you just don't know how close you are to having success and in uh, the master key to riches there's a story about a, a young gentleman that was working at a department store and there was an older lady that came in uh, who everybody was ignoring because they could see she was just, you know, just killing time. She wasn't going to buy anything, so everybody was just ignoring her. But this young man decided, you know what, I'm going to go to the extra mile and I'm going to go up to this, this woman and I'm going to invite her to have a seat. You know, obviously she's an elderly woman. He cared about that. But he went up and he took care of her. And lo and behold, it ended up being Mr. Carnegie's mother. And then so this young man uh, had an opportunity to go to Scotland and buy furniture for Carnegie. And uh, he ended up being half owner in the store. And so I'm not really going to tell everything about the story. I, I recommend picking up this book and read it. There's a lot of great stories like that. There's also another story where a young guy, I don't remember exactly who he was working for, but he would always show up. Um, he would always stay late to make sure that he was staying in the path of the owner. I believe it was Mr. Carnegie again, um, or it could have been Charles Schwab. I don't remember exactly who it was, but he made a point to stay late. Like when the, when the bell went off or the horn went off, everybody left. And he, he was always there because he knew um, that Mr. Charles Schwab or, or um, Carnegie or whoever it was, again, I don't remember exactly who, was going to come out of their office and he wanted to be of service to them. Um, and it just ended up turning out to where he ended up doing a lot of great things with that company. So that opportunity would have never been there had he not gone the extra mile, not been consistent, and he wouldn't have realized how close you know, to gold he was, you know, that three feet um, to gold. And another thing Chris talked about was goal setting. And he actually gave us some, um, some homework to really work on being crystal clear on what we want. And um, I, re I read, this is one of the first books that I ever read when I was 18, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And I started rereading it um, yesterday. And I just got to a part in the book when it talks about goal setting. And it's almost exactly what Chris talked about. Like it says, first, fix in your mind the exact amount of money that you desire. Second, determine exactly what you intend to give in return for this money. So you obviously always have to give something of value. You know, there's something in return. You're not going to get something for nothing. People who think about the law of attraction or, you know, or, or books like this, they're like, oh, people just think about, and you know, wish, want, and hope. That's just not how it works. You'd have to read the book to, to understand or, or this kind of philosophy to understand, you know, what the meaning is behind this. And then the third thing is establish a, a definite date of when you intend to possess the money. 
and then number four, create a definite plan for carrying out your desires. so create that plan and then there's um action based backed by faith and chris talked about a story where um where he basically rented a home um for fifteen thousand dollars a month a mansion because he was working on a project and the project wasn't even all together he had no idea how he was going to pay for that obviously he had already been making some really good money but that's a lot of money to put out on a monthly basis i believe the, the mansion was ten thousand dollars a month and then all in all with paying for other things it ended up being like 15 grand a month that he hadn't had it set yet but he just had that belief um that that he was going to make it happen because that's just who he is and he didn't give himself any other option but to make it happen and he had that faith and then you have that action backed by faith because he had a definitive plan on what he wanted to do so i just thought it was really cool talking about you know three feet from gold you just never know um you know who's watching or you know how close you are to having success or meeting somebody who might change your circumstances you know so just remain consistent keep that positive mindset that positive energy you just never know you know how close you are to making that huge breakthrough and then also be super clear um in your goals let me clear that's my ocd let me uh, <laughs> make that a little straighter um you, you know, just make your goals crystal clear and that's what i want to work on this weekend is kind of not kind of i'm going to work on getting clearer on exactly what i want because a lot of times you know it's easy just to be very general in uh in goal setting so i'm really going to look at my goals and fine tune uh exactly you know what i want and where i want to be and i know that's going to totally shift you know where i'm going it's going to shift my actions and then uh you know i'm, I'm definitely going to get there faster uh, by doing that so i hope this helped you uh i love these masterminds uh, i love you know reading great books like that uh you know and i'd love to you know get some feedback from you if you ever read these books you have a recommendation another recommendation i just found out about is u2 or u squared it's it's a u with a two uh and it's pritchett uh, I'm going to get that book. I've been trying to find it. I'm going to probably have to order it online. Barnes and Nobles didn't have it, but that's one that uh, Bob Proctor talks about. I love listening to Bob Proctor. Um, he's on Lewis's ha Lewis Howe's um, podcast or, or YouTube channel a lot, getting interviewed. Uh, so I listen to those guys back and forth, but Bob talks about this book a lot, Think and Grow Rich, and he also talks about U Squared, um, which is another book that I'm going to add to my library to continue to feed my brain with the right information and get better as a person every single day so that I can be more, more of value to the people that I work with and the people that I partner with. So hope you're having a great Saturday, and I look forward to talking to you soon.